So what are some of the biggest mistakes a programmer or a software developer does? No, it's not about writing code in a particular way, referring something, using library, using programming language, nothing like that. You know, these things are used for a particular purpose. I'm talking about what are the mistakes a programmer does. One of the biggest mistake I can see that programmers feel that they are going to write code. Yep, that's right. Uh, don't be surprised because programmers think that programmers job is to write code. No, it's not. Most of the time they will end up reading someone else's code or maybe even their own code after some time. The programmers job is all about, you know, just surrounded by code, looking into code, trying to understand things and then try to write few lines of code. That is what programmers job is, is not about writing new code. One of the biggest problem I feel in the way programming is being taught to all the people around the world is that they are being taught to how to write new code. There is no courses which talks to them about how to read existing code and how to get something out of that. So never ever think that as a programmer your job is only to write new code. This is not the case. Now when it comes to reading the code, whether you are reading your own code, our open source code or code written by, you know, some of your colleagues, this is the place where we do second mistake. And you know what that mistake is? We grossly underestimate and underuse the usage of pictures or diagrams while we read the code. Let's assume that I have written a binary search tree code, which looks something like this, what you are seeing in your screen right now. And if I ask you to add some functionality or remove some functionality from here, how will you do it? So most of the time, or in fact, all the time I have seen programmers, you know, opening their computer or laptop, looking into code, trying to, you know, visualize things in their mind. This is the place where we need to understand that no matter how much we visualize things in our mind, we will be lost at some point of time. So this is the place where we need to understand, you know, if I ask you to watch a movie or read the movie story in a book, which one you will like and which one you will prefer and most importantly, which one you will remember. Obviously, something with images and pictures, you can remember it very well and much faster. So this is the second biggest mistake a programmer does. So in this case, what they must do is that, you know, whenever they are reading through some code or glancing through some code, Whatever you think of that code, you must draw some pictures based on your understanding and it doesn't need to be a particular, you know, well-known mechanism of, you know, drawing pictures, draw anything you want, draw anything uh, by which you can understand it. All of us can draw. So when you look into the code, always remember no code is static. All code is dynamic. When you look into the code, it's the dynamic behavior of the code that, you know, changes the way things are happening in your code and if you just manage to draw those dynamic things, you will be able to first understand how the code is written, how the logic is there, how the dynamic aspect comes into picture and how the changes are happening. If someone is asking you to implement a new thing or you know change the existing thing or delete something from the existing code, look into that particular logic which you have drawn in your own pictures as a form of a picture, right? And try to implement that logic in that particular picture. Once you manage to do it successfully, it will be very, very easy for you to go back to your code and change the code. Always remember, our minds are not capable of, you know, just looking into the code, remembering each and every permutation and combination or even how the code is going to execute when it is run. Okay, so you always need to draw a picture. Even when you are writing a totally new code, do the same thing. Whatever code you want to write, do not just go ahead, create a new file and start writing. Okay, this is a recipe for, you know, trouble ahead. Before writing code, you know, just try to draw something in the piece of paper. Try to draw a visual model and keep on drawing, keep on writing code, keep on drawing, keep on updating code, keep on drawing. Okay, drawing pictures is extremely important and at this moment of time i would also like to say that you know you do not need to learn something like uml or some specific methodology to draw the picture a simple mind map is good enough for you to understand the things okay 
So avoid doing these mistakes and your programming journey or software development journey will be better than it is today. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. We will meet again. Until the next time we meet, good day, goodbye. You take care.